Lifted by a recent win over Aberdeen, we look to continue that momentum into the next game. We have Hearts at home in the league, and then we take on Olympic Lyon in our last group stage game. Welcome to Beyond Blue Brazil. Couple of changes to how we we set up here against Hearts. Looking at, at forcing them outside again, we 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 need to stop conceding goals, right? I think we've been our best defensively when we haven't let them come over the top and through the middle. So force them out wide, but we are going to add that higher line because I'm looking at the centre backs. They're fast. They are fast for top division. I think I think they're fast for this division at the very least. I think we can push up, try and play offside. Yeah, let's use offside trap and let's ask Bates to be a sweeper keeper defend. It, it's a risk, but we want to be on the front foot because frankly, aside from against, we, we, we looked better. We've looked better try to push teams. Team of play here, uh, Keenan Bates in goal. Bola comes back in now. He's just back from injury. Good that he is because obviously Pedrinho got injured after the last game. Perry at right wing back, Dervisovic and Kamara as our centre backs, Ham and Murray as our defensive midfielders. Um, Murray stepping in because uh, Kui Lee is injured, needs a bit of rest, I think. Yeah, unfit. Alex Scott and Allgreen as the central midfielders, uh, our attacking midfielders. These roles, I'm not sure if they're working as good as they did in earlier scenes, so we might play about with them. Gordon Johnson as the advance forward for now. And I mean that in the sense that he's playing advance forward. I'm not sure how I feel about advance forward these days. Deep line forward, uh, Velasco, in fact. He can't really play complete forward. Do we go poacher? Liam is the advance forward. See what he can do. Because it, it, it should, in theory, work well with a deep line forward. We need a performance here. We, we want three points is, is an obvious thing. But we need to get some momentum. Murphy, calm down hear Murphy in the background. Normally, normally, he's here when I record. Normally, he doesn't bark. Not today for some reason. Let's have a look. I mean, look how narrow we are. Not sure how I feel about that. Kyoso with a throw in. Now, that's not a great header by the centre-back. That's a better header. Only goes as far as McKenzie, though. Finds McPherson. We looked so narrow there. I'm going to put that... Let's play about with the width of the team because that was really narrow. That's horrendous. That's some miss. That's some tackle. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. We look a mess at the back. We're the home team. We looked so sloppy there. We survived, but it, it genuinely didn't look good. A single shot on target from either team so far. Arkney, McKenzie, Jerk, Kyoso, Robin pops it forward. We do win the header. Murray dropping back, winning that ball, all green. Tries to find Perry, but asking a lot of the, the wing back, attacking or not, to get on the end of that. Lundaloo in, good save by Bates. That's the problem with the high line. Now, he didn't score there, but... I'm not sure that att the attack and wing backs have been solid for us this entire time. I'm genuinely not sure if uh, if it's worth having them ploughing forward when they're that bad at crossing. Now they've had that over. I'm going to put them both on wing back support rather than drive to the byline. I want to see if they'll just they'll just hit the crosses from a bit deeper and maybe be just a bit more defensively solid. If they were very good, I'd probably put them on attack stale and just keep going that way but the way things have been going we just don't look don't look like we don't look like we did last season and that is a problem because last season we looked good I'm going to take Kamara off because he's he's playing terrible I mean that's the first like real point we've been in there third and it comes to nothing Ham has to go all the way back to centre back back to Ham, Murray now just protect that ball Nice ball from Ham Velasco. Scott just has to lay it around the court. All green bursting through. Hits it straight at Hazard. Oh, 
Connor Hazard with a save. It would have been a lovely little run by All Green if he'd got on the end of it and scored. We've whipped that one in. The centre back heads it over. Man Sisador. So look at this space. Like, how come you we can't mark up on uh, throw-ins? Player marking just doesn't work on set pieces. I've noticed that recently. I felt like it, it, it did before, but recently um, I can confirm that if you have someone on player mark, it doesn't mean they'll actually go towards a player. Johnson's in. It's a lovely finish. Gordon Johnson, 12th goal of the season, and I believe that's Gordon Johnson still as an advance forward scoring a goal. That is quite surprising. It also comes from a, a counter which is not really how we've set up to play this game. Like, we wanted to be on the front foot, but we'll take it. We'll greedily take it. I'll actually go balanced. I will drop that line. We stop distributing center back, see if Keenan Bates can use his kick. And I think his kicking's all right, about 14. Maybe just to try play the ball from the back all the way through the team is just a little much, right? Bola not having a great game. Go take on Dean, uh, the Everton Loney. We've got Alex Scott picks up a yellow card. I'm going to take on Waldson for him, and that'll be all of our substitutions. We've got about five minutes left of the game. Just going to slow the pace down. Just a little. I'd like to see this one out. It's not a classic home performance by any means, but a 1-0 win has never tasted so sweet. Good job, boys. It's We're at this stage where it literally is just get points on the board. We're not a million miles off Celtic because they've just lost to St. Mirren. That's the surprising thing there. So we've actually made ground, but we don't look that strong. Like, I think we've got very good strikers. They're not really firing. Gordon Johnson has 12 goals. Great. But nah, there's something something off. Eight unbeaten flatters us. But if you look closely, you know, four draws is not good. St. Mary and St. Johnson. Now, St. Mary and St. Johnson both doing very well. But the Dundee United draw, very disappointing. We needed a pen in that one. Aberdeen and Hearts. I mean, I'll I'll take it, but I was expecting I was expecting a I was expecting a challenge this year. I thought we we had ran it close last year and we had improved the team, and I think we're just starting. And I think I mentioned this one of the RVs. We're just starting to realize how important Iago was, and we are starting to starting to miss him. If you're enjoying the series today, do hit that subscribe button. Likes and comments on the video really help. Um, algorithm equation stuff like that so feel free to comment down below and hit that like button much appreciate oh my god it's a river of red ah so quite horribly we're being told to rest gordon johnson in a very important game and i kind of feel we're gonna have to listen to them which is mental we're going to go Stephen Ross. We are going to play cautious. We're going to have to play on the counter. We're going to have to try and take our chances when they arrive. Yeah, this is, this is going to be different. We're not going to play offside or a high line. Um, no, we are. We're going to play high line. We're not. We're going to play offside trap and we're going to move the wing backs to support because I just think wing backs on attack are great when you are defensively solid and we just don't seem to be so we're going to rein it in just a little bit we're going to put them on uh, support <sighs> yeah tricky 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 so Olympic Leon they're currently bottom of the, the group if we're going to have any chance of finishing third we need three points here and that would be our first points of the group, so yeah, kind of hoping Stephen Ross can just like catch fire, just in the middle of this match, squeeze us into uh, a chance to drop down into the knockouts would be lovely. Two losses so far in the group for them, as have we. <laughs> so I'm not overly confident here. 
Now, one of the defensive players normally plays as the deep line playmaker. I have moved him to an anchor role because... Oh, Ross. Why? Why do this to me? The right thing runs in behind. There's a great ball forward. He's in... There's no one there but him and he doesn't deliver and we've headed over from the corner. Ah, so as I was going to say, we... I'm not overly confident here. We need to get something from this game. Typically, I have done very well against French teams in Football Manager. But this could be a little bit different. We'll see. We're not having a good game. Look at that ball. Oh, I can't believe he's missed that. That was stunning. It'll be a goal kick. The whip on that. I'm going to tell Byrne. I'm going to demand more from him. They're going to do the exact same thing again. No, they're not. It's worse. They're going to play an intricate... That's not a pen. That's not a pen. Why is the striker, Stephen Ross, even attempting a tackle in our box there? Not okay, FM. Penalties are out of control. Oh, Bates is so close to saving that one. The penalties are just insane now. I do not... I don't understand. I'm not sure what the, the thinking was of whatever rebalance they've done. Who, who's it in benefit of? It's certainly not the game experience. No way. Again, this free kick from what? We don't see a foul or nothing. I don't understand how they seemingly get a lot more options of how they're going to line up on free kicks than you do as a player. I'm absolutely sick to my stomach having given away a penalty, missing a great one-on-one -on -one opportunity that we had early in the game. Just the sheer amount of penalties there have been in just this one save. It's another thing if you look across all the saves I've had recently, it seemingly has been happening all over the place, but the penalties against Cow and Beef are getting to the point that it is silly. We've even saved a couple, that's how many we've blooming had. Scott from distance, Barcola, where a good save. Velasco whips it in. Kamara, oh, underneath it, Stephen Ross. He just has to jump up and head it. And we're 1 1, and he doesn't. We've looked better after going positive, I think, in theory. Got to point the finger, see if things have to improve. Me and Kamara are going to fall out. Seriously, me and Kamara aren't going to fall out. In fact, me and this entire back line. Look at every, oh, this entire back line, inclu including Kui Lee, all playing terrible. I raised morale a little bit there at halftime, but we need more than what they're giving us so far. I've moved him to anchor. I I've forgotten to move uh, one of these players to uh, advanced playmaker. So Scott's going to now be the advanced playmaker. We're going to move um, Stephen Ross to poacher, I think. He's absolutely rubbish as a poacher. In all fairness, he's not that good as an advanced forward either, but... Right. Oh, that felt like that should have been an interception there. And Dembele's in to kill the game. It's a good tackle by Mansador. Mansisador. He's playing a 6.3, but looks like he's playing a lot better than Kamara from what I've seen. The entire back line just... I don't understand why they're supposedly playing so bad, so poorly. Just try, trying to do something different to see if we can awaken something. Just don't have the depth. I'm going to take on Aaron Lawrence because at this point, why not? Stephen Ross. How? How has he not done that? How has he done that? Like, how has he not put that away? He's in completely free, in behind the back line. Kamara's just been sent off.
I don't think we could have played this uh, Champions League group stage much worse than we have. We're down 10 men, we might as well go attacking. Maybe they'll they'll make a mistake toward the end. <sighs> I think it's even worse to lose 1-0 and it's a plumbing penalty. Keeper's lost his mind thinking that that was going to go to anybody. Absolutely lost his mind. I mean, we could have, we very well should have probably given up on our goal there, so. Uh, just painful. Really painful. Really poor performance. I'm not happy with what I saw with it from the team. I'm not going to pump them up and tell them they played remotely well. We've just lost three games in the Champions League group stage on the bounce. We are bottom of the table. We are not going to see knock knockout football this season, I don't think. Kamara Brown for one match. Ross vows to end goal drought. Yeah, absolutely. Wouldn't that be something? So I think what we'll do is we will we will go off, we'll play some games. We'll play Livingston and Inverness. Two winnable games. Two games I expect to win. Even now, I expect to win those games. Have a quick look at the table. Livingston in our bottom. Inverness, Cali Fissel are second bottom. I expect to win those games. We have to win those games. Win those games. We can see where we're at and then we go into the game against Celtic. Hopefully we can either keep it to three points right now or hopefully they slip up. Um, and then, so we'll return for the Celtic game, a home game against Celtic and the Olympic Lyon game, which I think just about kills our Champions League hopes. If it does, then we probably won't bring you the Juventus and Everton game because it's just seeing us lose is upsetting. So, um... We've actually got the semi-final soon, which is against Dundee in the Premier Sports Cup. Um, so, yeah, what we'll do is we'll we'll bring you Selk and Olympic Lyon, and then we probably then, well, we'll probably end up bringing you the, the Juventus game after the semi-final, to be honest. Yeah, that's probably what we'll do. And we could bring you the Hibs game. Ah, we'll bring you the Juventus game, probably. Right, so, join me next time, where hopefully, when we return, we've got our six points on the board. And I might tweak the system a little bit more. I, I don't know. Kind of seemed to work against Hearts, but didn't. We couldn't. We weren't on the front foot, so maybe we'll go to balance and we'll just treat it game to game and make those adjustments. Maybe I'm overcomplicating things. Join me next time when hopefully we'll be back scoring goals, playing better football, and of course going beyond blue Brazil.